Hey guys, uh, just a quick video tonight. Um, sorry for not posting last day or two. It's been a little weird around here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to touch base and show you where I was at with the, uh, with the C10. As you can see, I have stripped the paint off. And when I did, you can see that I found that these castings are really rough. I mean, look at this window, this you know, window right here. I mean, it's like not filled in and it's, I don't know. yeah, they're really rough castings. So not that it has to be a beauty, but I do like to clean them up if I can. Um, the green one in the back was pretty good. The paint came off kind of hard, but this, uh, the, the blue one, the, uh, the all American one was really pretty rough casting. But, uh, what I'm going to do is Basically, I have uh, this an old M2 base that I've already used some uh, you know pieces of, and it's a nice nice thickness and it's a pretty rigid material. So I'm just going to cut a strip off of that with the uh, with my cutoff tool, and I'm going to glue in a piece that will just extend a little bit beyond the edge here, and um, that way it gives me a, a nice nice surface to bond to and uh, you know you can see I mean the the fit is really nice on these two going together so uh, I'll get those pieces glued into the back of the cab and then I will glue this together with as you can see obviously JB quick weld and um, yeah that'll probably be all I'll do tonight I I could probably glue in the uh, the axles if I wanted to, but um, we'll see. We'll see how far I get tonight. But I'm going to concentrate on the body, and I'll probably do another little quick video to show where I'm at uh, once I get some stuff done. Okay, uh, after a little fiddly business with the uh, getting these cut and uh, glued in, you can see I've got little plastic tabs glued in on both sides uh, they don't have you don't have to be like real long or real big it's just uh, it's just to give a little bit more bonding to the joint and uh, let's see if I can do this here yeah it's just you know the truck that way um, it'll give a nice tight bond and as long as I can hold it in place while it sits or you know while while the uh, quick weld sets up and and it only takes about five minutes to set up so it it really isn't too bad and I'll just and I'll just put a little JB weld on each of those joints push them together and um, you know I'll just hold it down on a flat surface and um, and let it cure because I know that the um, the wheel base is about right now I'm gonna have to open up the wheel wheel wells on the front a little bit. But uh, but yeah, that's about all there is to it. I'm gonna glue this, glue these two halves together, and then uh, yeah, then I'll show you what the truck will look like. <laughs> so, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, and uh, here we are uh, with a little bit of patience. Uh, the two halves of the body are glued together. Uh, I. I'll leave that that excess JB weld, um, you know, on the seam there. I'll leave that there overnight, just so it's nice, you know, good and cured. It's 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 set up now. Uh, it's been probably over five minutes, and um, yeah, it's nicely set up. But um, and as you can see, you know, I have those two pieces in there with, you know, and it. That, that bond should be, you know, as strong as the rest of the truck, basically. I mean, it would take a pretty good hit for that to, for that to come apart. And let's just see if I can do this without dropping things and stuff. Because the axles aren't set in yet. But, uh, yeah, let's see how it looks here. And as you can see, I'm going to have to open up the... Uh, front wheel well just a little bit and you know I'll probably just hit the rear wheel well a little bit just open it up just make sure it's good and clear 
but um, but yeah, and then that's uh, that's where I'm at so far, and it's looking pretty cool. I'll be uh, you know gluing in the axles and sanding the wheels and whatnot uh, next, but uh, the body's looking pretty good. Um, have some fun stuff in in store for the paint job on that, and um, yeah, pretty happy with where things are at. So um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching and uh, thanks for following along on this build. I hope it I hope it's actually a fast truck when I, everything's all said and done. So thanks, and uh, I'll be back soon.